120 over 80 millimeter mercury. That is our normal blood pressure. Today, we're going to talk about blood pressure regulation. Now, let's look at it. Now, if your blood pressure increases above the normal blood pressure, and if we are a healthy person, our blood pressure increases more than our normal blood pressure, what happens is that there are receptors at your carotid vessels and aortic vessels. These receptors are known as baroreceptors. When the blood pressure goes above than the normal blood pressure, these high pressure will stimulate the baroreceptors continuously. Now, the more it stimulates, the more impulses are sent by these baroreceptors to the brain, which there is a center called as cardiovascular center located at the medulla oblongata. Now, once these medulla oblongata, this cardiovascular center has been receiving multiple impulses from these receptors, these will send a new set of impulse through a nervous system which is known as parasympathetic nerve. And this parasympathetic nerve will send impulses, response to the heart muscles. So the heart muscles will start to contract at a weaker contraction and also it causes your arteries to have to go through vasodilation process. So the blood tissue goes through a lesser restriction in blood flow. Both the weaker contraction of heart and lesser restriction of blood flow will cause the blood pressure to be reduced to back to normal blood pressure. Now what happens if the blood pressure is lesser than the normal blood pressure? Then less stimulation of these baroreceptors will happen and less impulses will be sent to the cardiovascular center. If less impulses are sent to the uh, cardiovascular center, less stimulation of these cardiovascular center happens. Therefore, the cardiovascular center will send a series of impulses using now sympathetic nerve, not parasympathetic nerve. Now it will be using sympathetic nerve and this sympathetic nerve will be sending impulses to the cardiac muscles and causes the cardiac muscles to have harder and faster contraction. And it also sends impulses to the smooth muscles of the arteries and so it will cause vasodilation process and these sorry vasoconstriction process so vasoconstriction will cause the vessels to be, be to be more narrower and there will be more restriction in the blood flow and the blood pressure will start to increase because of these two actions and the blood pressure will be brought back to normal blood, normal blood pressure so this is a negative feedback mechanism or also known as homeostasis process in order to bring the blood pressure to normal blood pressure whenever it is low or whenever it is high this is a quite a very important topic for example exams please do revise properly listen to it again and again and again so you guys can learn it better remember learn unlearn relearn learn it completely and apply whatever that you have learned in your daily life thank you very much we'll see you in the next video